Okay, um, so I'll just call the meeting to order at 4.05, and I'm just going to go around and do um, attendance. So, Ava? Present. Justin? Present. Tony? Present. Sarah? Present. And I'm Emma, and Michael is not here yet. Um... Did everyone have a chance to look at the minutes that Shanta sent over from our last meeting? I did, and I just had a question. Um, it's probably just me and my reading comprehension, but the, the uh, of course I don't have them in front of me. Um, the part where it speaks about um, why we decided to not fund the two community school programs that we did not fund. One, we thought the NHA should really be applying for. The other was the Irish step, which was asking for so much, unfortunately. Um, the way that it was written, I, it just didn't make it totally clear to me that we were uh, saying that we basically uh, I, I don't know, but it's something about it. I couldn't quite tell if we were telling them that they were asked that we weren't going to fund because we could only fund such a small amount, excuse me, or if it was that we simply wanted them to reapply once, you know, and just keep trying. You see, I, sorry, let me see here. I just, oh, that's okay. And just so you know that, um, Ava and I sent out the notices to applications that we did not accept, and we did put notes in. Um, it doesn't give you a ton of space to put a lot of notes in, but I tried to put in what we talked about. And with the um, community school, I think I said that we only, that we wanted to focus on one instead of three and that. Um, okay. And yeah, it, I said to apply again. There was just some phrase like they should or could, and it, the way it read, I, I just wasn't sort of clear. Um, and of course, my iPad isn't loading. So. That's okay. Do you want us to make any changes to the, the minutes? No, I, I just, you know, anyway, it was an observation. Just clarification. Okay. Um, so we just need to, um, we just need a motion to approve those or deny. Uh, second. Oh, Tony, you're on mute. Because I'm in the wrong window. It's helpful if I click the wrong right, right window. Um, I also just wanted to um, say I am a little concerned. We, we do put our, um, half of them we, we say members discussed and others we, we name particular members, that sort of thing. Um, and given it's a public record, it might be better if we remove references, except for, you know, somebody abstained from voting uh, to, you know, the, the council discussed or something like that. Uh, just, a, just a thought. Yeah. Um... I agree. I don't really know a lot about the minutes and if there's like a specific formula to them or how much or how little we need to have in them. But um, Shanta, do you think that would be possible to just have it be a more general in the minutes? I'm, and specifically with regards to the discussion of the proposals? Um, because, uh, you know, it, it, if we know that we're going to be on record, it might limit our discussion. Um, well, you're going to be on record because these assume that every meeting is on record. The recording sure. is posted to the towns. Sure. Um, I, I guess what I guess what it is, is in one of them, it says yeah. Mr. Wagner objected. And the next one says concerns were raised that this seemed like. Um, and so I, I, <laughs> I guess my I, that's just my concern that that sometimes it doesn't. It, I, I know that these are recorded. I know that they're public, but it um, next time I would be much more um, circumspect about conversation and not have a, a clear and frank discussion if I knew that it was saying Tony doesn't like this program. Fair enough. Um, and also, they ask for us to be as detailed as possible. 
portions where I say the, um, like the council, it's because I couldn't remember who exactly said it and there was an issue with the, with the recording uh, disappearing. <laughs> We eventually found it, <laughs> but it disappeared for a time. I went into a little bit of a frenzy as I was like taking the notes and trying to get them in on time. And um, eventually when we found it, it, it was posted to the YouTube channel and I was like, dang it. Well, I already submitted this, <laughs> but yes, I hear you, Tony. Um, they do ask for us to be as detailed as possible. That was my bad, um, but safe to assume that it is, it is going to be super public. So if you, if you want to um choose your words more wisely or at a lack of better wording by all means or at least i i appreciate you know, the the recording disappearing but it, it's um you know some of it's it's difficult when i'm i'm this is about me in particular because it, it's about a community school um application which i share a building with and their office is directly next door to mine it says mr wagner expressed concern about their application um where and the, the only other time i'm looking through here is i think out of all these applications only one other um is somebody named by name saying they had uh, an issue So are you asking for the minutes to be changed? Because I can I can change it and um, I can rewatch it and put each person's name specifically what they said. Um, I would go the other direction. Um, uh -huh. And, and I, I suspect when it comes to, so I guess there's a difference between, and, and maybe this is something for the future discussion for next year's uh, thing that, uh, you know, not even Mass Cultural Council, I have, when, they, when they have grant discussions, grant funding discussions, they don't publish, uh, transcripts of of the conversation, so I, I, I think um, that that's probably really what the what the issue is. So so next time I don't know I don't know what I'm trying to suggest other than uh, it, it will limit conversation on whether or not we're going to fund a grant if, um, if if we know that our names are going to be associated specifically with. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you, Tony. I mean, I don't know what the the the, the what is it? I don't legal proper I mean proper reporting is, but if if I mean if this is public and Justin said he doesn't like Project X and it's in there, then everyone from that organization, if they're if if, if they're not getting the grant, can reach out to Justin and ask him. And I'm certainly not serving on this council to deal with that kind of. I mean, I'm I, I'm being frank about that too. I mean, that's this is already a lot more time than a than it has been. I mean, uh, so I, I second what you're saying, Tony. I don't know what the uh, the the proper. Uh, I'm far I'm far from the first person the, the person to go to for proper formatting and things like that. But I understand what you're saying. Um, and I, I I would just say that I've been secretary, not that I want to be secretary, but I've been secretary um, before with other organizations, and um, I do think that in general uh there's a way of and, and that it's almost expected it isn't being duplicitous or anything like that um that you just say you know mr wagner abstained obviously in, in a certain situation or mr copco abstained for other reasons or justin or whomever um but that when it comes to uh you know rejections uh that you you know that you don't cite that directly in um the minutes necessarily i understand that it's a public meeting but i feel that often those things are why you would watch the meeting or participate or attend the meeting um and not just like get a play-by-play -play of who to seek out afterwards but that's my my feeling you guys do realize that the meeting minutes only you see it right like that, those minutes are only shared with the council. If you look at the town website, it's not on there. Oh, I thought it did get uploaded. No. Yeah, why Why would it not? I thought all meetings minutes were uploaded. Um, I didn't see it, see any of the meeting minutes uploaded, so I haven't been uploading them. I've just been- Oh, no, I thought, 
So I thought they were uploaded. I, <laughs> I thought they were uploaded as well. I, they are supposed to be as I'm learning as I'm going along. Um, I can get <laughs> them, but I was I, I went through previous, uh, the, you know, the last few meetings and I didn't see the minutes on there. So I was like, oh, maybe they don't submit. They just post their agenda. So that's what I've been doing. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Well, outside of this well, that, that's a whole, here, that's no a whole one outside of you guys would have known. That's a whole <laughs> different discussion. Yeah. Because that discussion already happened. So, I mean, yeah, I, I, I guess if you could, I guess maybe if you do find it and that they have to be posted, though, I think we would want to, as a council, take a look at the minutes before they're publicly posted, right? I mean, I think that would be within our right as council members. Definitely. Correct? I mean, Definitely. yeah, okay. Tony, does that make you feel better? Um, yeah, I mean, a it's little. Some, you know, <laughs> some, some, some. I, I, I spent enough time in government, uh, you know, minutes never <laughs> yeah, go right. Um, and I, I guess uh, I, I would not vote to approve these minutes unless we uh, made it consistent. I, and by that, I mean, uh, concerns were voiced about this, um, which is consistent with other elements. Uh, you know, if you look down at Arlene O'Reilly, concerns were raised. Um, I would I would say the just anytime one right above that the the school of design one Mr. Kopko pointed out that the accounting portion of this application has some discrepancy um, is tricky. We just we just said uh, he just told everybody that they can't add, um, and so you know it's, it, it was pointed out that the accounting portion of the application has some discrepancy. Um, you know that we can we can reflect the conversation without putting the names specifically in there. I think. But to Sarah's yeah. point, you know, uh, uh, Mr. Wagner abstained. Definitely a, a point that needs to be in the minutes. Mr. Kopko abstained, or whoever, um, you know, whatever, whatever it may be. But it's the conversation. It's almost like the privilege. It's like a privilege question. Um, you know, we we don't want our work discussion to be identifiable, and I mean that in a in a good way because it it let, let allows us to have frank conversation about the applications. Agreed. Yeah, I think this is the longest conversation I've ever had about minutes. <laughs> yeah, it just seems that we we move forward as a council. So it so it's a group decision ultimately. None of us are the reason. So I guess I would agree with T Tony just that it's a other than abstention, there's no reason to to name someone individually as as saying anyone particular point, even a positive one, like that I was an advocate for the artist association program. There's no reason to, to say that I did that personally. Anyway. Is that doable, Shanta? Like, do you think that's enough detail? Yeah, that's easy enough. Um, and you guys can just vote on it next meeting. Okay. So does that work for everyone if we, if Chantal makes some edits and we look at it again? Yeah, thanks everybody. I didn't mean to take up the time. No worries. No, let's take our winter time so we can have 30 second meetings the rest of the year. It's good. Okay, so we're gonna table the minutes. Um, okay, so I have a lot to share with you guys about the grant cycle and the financial piece. Um, it's still all in progress right now. Well, Ava and I met and we sent out the, um, I'm always trying to think of a nice word. They're not rejections, but the applications that we did not choose to fund. Um, we let those applicants know and we waited the 15 day period and no one sent us anything. Um, which means we can go ahead and send our approvals. But on the online grant system, in order to send out the approvals, you need to have the financials equal the amount that we have available, equal the amount that we said we wanna grant out. Now ours don't because the amount we put in is that 34,000 and the amount we decided on is a 5,500. So I've been working with the finance department and the mass cultural to figure out um, where all that money is if it's been distributed. Like if if that 34,000 is earmarked for people basically. Um, I 
did send an email out to our fiscal year 2022 applicants asking them to saying it's come to our attention that we may not have received your reimbursement information and I did receive um, a large amount of reimbursement forms and I submitted those. Um, Sarah was my second signature on those and I submitted them to the finance department. So that was from um, White Heron, um, The Lizza Show, Small Friends, Dreamland, and Theater Workshop. So those have all been submitted. Um, and then there was a a little glitch with some of the ones that were submitted in May. Um, Nantucket Community Music Center, the Comedy Festival, NCTV, and Emma Young were paid out. The finance department mistakenly took the funds from the cultural district account instead of the cultural council account. So... <laughs> I'm working with, Chantal is going to send me um, the account, what's in each account and what's been paid out. And I'm going to send that to Mass Cultural, our reps, Timothy and Lisa, and they're going to help um, match that up with what we said we were going to award and whether those payments have been made um, in order to figure out how much we really have for our 2023 grants, which is what we reviewed last month. So it is possible that we would go back and look at those approved applications. I believe there were nine. It's possible we would go back and say, okay, we actually have more than the 5,500. Um, and so we can give out more money. So we're gonna wait to send out the approvals for those grants. And typically their, their deadline this year is the 17th of January, but I spoke with Timothy and Lisa this morning and they said that's flexible. And um, I've kind of filled them in on what's going on. So they're gonna help us. So the good news is we could have more money to grant out. There were a couple of the um, applications that didn't use the full funding. It wasn't a ton left over, but um so we might have that and then we might have applications from like the 2020 2021 years that were never paid out so that's kind of where we are on that timeline so well first of all thank you thank you thank you <laughs> Emma. And it's like there's like a full-time like forensic work here um but the my question is, do we have to get like, you know how we talked about holding on to some of this money in some way, shape or form for something? Do are we required to whatever's in the account when all this is said and done to grant that this year? The only reason I'm not because not for stingy reasons, but just it seems like we're going to have a disproportionate year of granting if we yeah. have all this money so we're certainly not going to have thirty-four thousand because um with these recent reimbursement forms i've gotten that's almost that's like six thousand or more that we were sitting on that because no one turned in their forms never got sent out um now my hypothesis is that was happening prior years as well either the reimbursement forms were never submitted, so they never got paid out and or they got paid out from the wrong accounts. So if we can find, for example, if in 2021, White Heron got $800, but they got it from the cultural district fund, the accountants can make an adjustment and show that it actually came from ours. And that would bring that balance down. And I did ask that exact question just into them this morning. And they said, it kind of depends on what the difference is. Like if it's, if it's still up very high, 
we might just wait on it because like you said that would be like a disproportionate amount this year um if it's closer to the 5500 then we might just tack it on to some of the ones that we've already approved thanks emma yeah. great well, thank you any other questions on that i know it's kind of a lot and kind of confusing Okay, um, one other thing I wanted to bring up is the Cape Verdean Museum, they had a 2022 application, we awarded them $351, and they have requested an extension due to COVID, and they had a lot of illnesses, um, and I can try to pull up the email she sent, but um, we just need to vote on whether we would grant them that extension do you all I, want more details before we vote on that i remember the application i mean i remember us all being very positive about that and perhaps that's that's incorrect but we definitely voted to move it forward and grant them the money so it just seems to me that covid really threw everyone for a loop and it would make sense to extend it and why would we want people to be rushed with thoughtfully using the funds? Yeah, I I agree. COVID's still affecting everybody in ways nobody even <laughs> anticipated. So I think if we and we can vote on this without Michael, right? Can we have a quorum. Yes, we do. So the um the ask is that um they extend to February 2023. Uh, so moved. Second. Okay, anyone opposed to granting that extension? All right, excellent. Thank you. So we will let them have an extension so in that case, it's we're still going to save that 351 for them. Um, so that won't be included if if we have any overages. Okay. So then we were going to talk about the uh, schedule moving forward. Excuse me, I'm just looking for the agenda. Okay. So Sarah had sent out an email with some suggested dates for meeting. Um, we can also kind of mix in a discussion of what we want our next steps to be. We had talked about working on kind of a calendar of promotion and just the grant cycle in general, what the dates are, and then a calendar of, you know, reaching out to people to let them know the grant cycle's open, reaching out to make sure that they've applied for reimbursement. Is there anything else we want to be planning in terms of next steps for this year that we want to schedule some time to work on? I mean, I'd like to work on the calendar with you, Emma. Um, doesn't necessarily need to be with everyone. We can make a first draft and show up with them, right? Yeah, I think that's great. Does that work for you all? If if we kind of get together, Ava and I, and throw some information together and present it at another meeting? Yeah, um, the only thing I would ask is that um, the reason I had sent that email which I wasn't certain was appropriate since it was a discussion outside of this meeting. But uh, the the sooner that we can make a gen, I mean, a plan, and then we can always do plan when in the future. But I would love to know uh, dates for the summer. That would be really helpful. I mean, we welcome you to work on it with us, Sarah. It's just that, like, it seems like it's something we haven't had in the past. And I think sometimes we get a little clunky when we're trying to create something as an entire council. And 
Emma and I have been able to be kind of nimble if we'll just like make something and then we can share it and have input. But we definitely don't want to. It, the idea is not to delay, it's to expedite it. <laughs> oh, I was just talking about the email about when we would have meetings in the summer, not the- um, Oh, not the calendar, my, my mistake. Thanks for clarifying. Yeah, I think last time we had talked about maybe, um, you know, meeting less frequently in the summer. Um, I just know everyone was, Justin, I believe had expressed some real concern about his ability to meet in the summer. I'm sure yeah. all of all of us, excuse me, I shouldn't cite him, but, um, and it just seemed we were, we agreed. That's fine. Sorry. Um, <laughs> We did agree to, I believe we all agreed uh, through April to that second Tuesday or whatever we're on. I don't remember. Um, and then uh, my suggestion was simply, and not simply, it was that we uh, talk about maybe extending that easy monthly Tuesday through May and then potentially going to a six week uh, schedule meeting for the summer, which would leave us with two summer meetings until we get to September. Uh, and that was that was just my idea. Anyway. Yeah, does anyone have thoughts on that? If it's something we want to agree to now um, or- I guess my only, I mean, can, can that, could that just be included in the, the calendar? not presentation, but like, like, can we look at all of it at one time? Does that mean like if the next, like if we meet on the 14th yeah. of February, but my only, my only suggestion would be maybe if everybody feels comfortable with it, maybe we just meet like mid July and, and, and then in September, like we, we don't in the June, July, August, we just meet one time would be my only suggestion uh, but again I don't I don't want to um I don't want to impede progress on this either I mean you know I'll find the time for sure but the and could be maybe even reserve the right to make that call once we get to like you know April and we're like yeah you know it feels like we kind of got a much better handle on this and we'll be okay with that or no you know what we need to I'm just throwing that out there I think it'll help once we have a good timeline of what we want to be doing like one of my concerns is that the applications open in early october so we don't have a lot of time to let the public know and let these organizations and independent artists know to apply but if we can if we can get a timeline going and do some of that legwork in the spring like writing a press release, doing some social posts or whatever, even an email blast to our previous applicants. If we can get that done in the spring, then we won't really need to meet much in the summer because if we look at our past trends, it's been really difficult for us to meet. So instead of trying to push it to say we need to meet, how can we rearrange what what we feel needs to get done before the summer months because we know it's not really that realistic for us to meet then anyway yeah i mean if we can front load the the now and the spring then <clears throat> I, I i get what you're saying yeah so, so i guess maybe on the 14th when we i mean i'm, I'm assuming that we definitely want to do these tuesdays leading up to through may as sarah suggested i mean maybe we look at that and i'll decide on yeah, let's look at that. Um, I think. Is that okay, Sarah? To. Oh, I, yeah. I just yeah. thought, why not extend it to May if we were all in agreement? It gives us one more. Yeah, I agree. Well, and I would rather extend it to May and then maybe, like I said, be able to alleviate the, you know, lessen the summer a little bit. But, yeah. yeah. So, um, I think if we did do May, it would be the 9th of May. Um, that would be four weeks and the second Tuesday. Um, and then I'm just throwing it out there. What I had suggested then is then moving directly from that uh, Tuesday to six weeks, which would be one, two, three. I have it written down somewhere, four, five, 
which would bring us to June 20th. And then we would meet June 20th. And then our next and final meeting of the summer would be August 1st. And that was just what I had thrown out there. And then we go back to, um, in September, that would bring us back to the second Tuesday. Yeah, my only suggestion would be maybe we look at just like one meeting in July and not do the June and August and then pick back up with the second Tuesday in September. But again, it's not, I'm, that's not, I, July I, could be, it could be that July people are like, oh God, that's a terrible month too. So, I, you know, I, I'm being a tiny bit selfish with my ask here. I'm being honest at least. <laughs> no, I mean, we need to be, we're a small enough council that we can try to prioritize what works for people. Like if we did July 18th or 25th, you know, that might be it's still a Tuesday and then, <clears throat> but. We can also just right now agree or decide on whether we want to do the second Tuesday at four through May and then revisit it in the spring. Yeah, or even just, yeah, I, I totally would think that was great if we just did that for now, personally. Agreed. For me, I think the most important thing is let's stack as much as possible in terms of our planning up front, like we said, during this winter season. So we don't get into this like, oh, we're behind the eight ball or we need to put out that we last year. That's, I think, I, if I could put my New Year's wishes for us as a council out there, like, um, I'm happy to put in that time at this point so we can have a bit of a flow and then we can say, hey, all right, we want to put an hour or two behind this, like this month, what, like what, what do each of us want to kind of do that's important um, and also just make it more clear to the grantees um, to inspire them to create more content for us so that we can just have a bigger imprint this year. That's my second wish. And that's kind of, I think that's kind of on me, which is cool. I'm fine with that. <laughs> okay. Does anyone want to make a motion on our next meetings or any more discussion? I would personally make, a, I would make a motion, excuse me, that we extend the second Tuesday meetings through May, which would bring us to May 9th, I believe. Uh, I'll second that. Sarah and I are motion and seconding a lot of things today. Okay, We're any, op <laughs> any opposition to that? We're talking the second Tuesday of the month from now until May 9th. No, approved. And thank you, Chantal, for um, keeping on top of these invites and calendar things. Yes. It's really helpful for us uh, to have that. We appreciate you. Um, and also, are we, we're comfortable staying on Zoom. I think we discussed that that works best in case people are traveling. Yeah, I won't be back until May. So okay. if it's, uh, I'll, I'll need Zoom <laughs> to be there. That I works. could call in though. If you all decide to meet in person, I can just do an old school conference call like we used to do before. So. I think this is working well for us. Can I ask a quick question? Yeah, of course. Um, are you guys um, trying to figure out the best way to word it? Are you guys um, supposed to be following the open meeting laws like the other councils and whatnot? Yes. Okay. Then, Emma, you and I need to have an offline conversation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I know you, you guys function a little differently um, to your state commission as opposed to a town commission I'm trying to wrap my head around it a little bit yeah I'm not sure well we'll check okay um okay so we have a meeting scheduled then for February 14th is there anything else we want anyone wants to discuss at this meeting I'm sorry, just a question to go over. So we'll know next meeting, we would should know what, uh, if there is any overage, is that correct? Possibly, I, I'm, I'm actively working with 
the treasure and well Chantal will help me get those financials over to the state so okay. hopefully but I can't guarantee anything no no thank you okay um anything that we want to have specifically on the agenda uh hopefully Ava and I can meet before next month and start doing a sort of calendar and we can present that is there anything else anyone wants to have on the agenda for next month um I do think we should talk about the reception if we're still planning to combine with the cultural district and was that in May Shantam so are you able to provide some more info to us on what that's looking like so far no because I haven't started planning it yet <laughs> oh okay that's fine well then you can um yeah we can maybe talk about it next month and just what you might need from us definitely definitely I'll have um I'll have a better sense of everything I'm still in my vacation brain and trying to swim out of it so <laughs> that's acceptable Okay, and any public comment? I don't think we have anyone from the public. Okay. Um, you guys wanna make a motion to adjourn? Yes, I'm gonna make the motion this time. <laughs> <laughs> Go Justin. Okay, I second. Okay, motion adjourned. Meeting. Um, thank you all. Thank you, Emma and Ava. You're welcome. Thanks everyone for showing up and being thank here. You, yeah. I know I love the vibes for 2023 already, guys. <laughs> Let's yes. give the people all the culture. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Chantal. Is... Yes, thank, thank you, Chantal. Thank, thank you. you guys so much. Have a great evening. Bye. Bye. Bye.